Hey guys, they're here, so I wanted to make this video to explain a little better what is the pass-through mode on the Oculus Rift S over here, because I think that is one of the most interesting features that we have and one that nobody's talking about. So let's make a video talking about the pass-through mode to see what are all the features, how it works, what to expect from it and why it's so interesting indeed. So without further ado, let's get inside the Oculus Rift S pass-through plus mode. Let's get to it. Okay, so just to describe what is the pass-through, if you have no idea about it, well, it's the ability to use the cameras in the front to actually see outside the VR headset, like if we are using a pair of glasses. Of course, the quality will not ever be as good as real life because we have just little cameras that are used mostly for the tracking but it's a good implementation because let you understand where are you at in the space when you go over the guardian system where you are standing where is the wall that you're gonna it probably one step further than where you're at and also the most interesting thing is that for the first time here it can be used also with some AR capabilities now what are we talking about well pass-through was uh, there already with the original Vive but the view wasn't stereoscopical we were using the single camera in front and that's it and then keep going and going we had the view with the Vive Pro and then Windows Mixed Reality added having the flashlight feature so you're gonna be able to like see through your controllers as well it's very useful as well but this time is implemented in a different way where actually you can use your dashboard in that mode to have a view of all the stuff around you and just place your stuff in there. So why this is called the Pastro Plus? What is actually the difference between this one and the one from all the other competitors? Well, in this case, you have a stereoscopic view. So that means that you actually see the sense of depth. So if you get closer or further from your things you're gonna understand and gonna be able to grab stuff better in the real world even if you're looking through a camera and also because oculus worked a lot on this feature to make it more comfortable to stay in now it's not something that you should stay in for long that's why they put a limit for around five minutes maximum because probably is to reduce eye strain and because of course it's not your real view so eh, things get a little weird after a while but it's really interesting that we have the possibility to have a view that is actually enjoyable to be in also another thing that make it different from all the competition is the fact that here we are using the asynchronous space warp so pretty much they double the frame rate creating a synthesized frame in the middle of the two that actually the camera see to have the 80 hertz frame rate directly to your eyes that means that the visual is more comfortable and you don't get motion sickness and you don't get all weird using it and that is a really interesting thing that's also why you see some artifacts in the visual over there but with the next update they're gonna bring a synchronous space warp too to it and use some of the new rtx computing power to actually get rid it's a made in collaboration with nvidia get rid of some of those little aberration little distortions that you have in the view to make it even more and more comfortable now it's very interesting that i keep working on it because i think that it's a great feature and as you might know from my oculus rift s unboxing video i actually use it to uh, edit the video in there to see if it was actually a comfortable way to do so and i have to say that it was there was the limit of the 20 minutes of course and i didn't really do all of that in there uh, because at a certain point i did uh, some do color grading and stuff like that so i needed to understand a little the colors a little better so that's why i use the monitors but it was really interesting to be able to do it to scale your um screen as much as possible and also to see the capabilities of the screen this is an rgb pixel arrangement screen the same resolution of the oculus go so it's not the highest resolution on the market that we have but because of the pixel arrangement well it's really easy to read really easy to interact with text and stuff like that and is a little more comfortable when it comes to 
actually read and work in the environment. So uh, it's a great thing also for the Valve Index that is gonna arrive with even more resolution of this one with an RGB pixel arrangement screen. Now, why this is very good for productivity? Well, for the first time when we use our system, we can actually also see what's going on outside. That means that you are not completely outside the world when you are in VR, but you're actually still in your environment and you can just augment your environment. Now, is that perfect? No, not really, because what you use right now, the dash, is pretty much lock your position in the middle and you have all the circle around when you can place your monitors and stuff like that. Now, it's not a real AR because yes, you can move around and uh, go interact with uh, something that is maybe uh, in front of your fridge or on your table and stuff like that. But the position is always related to the starting point in the middle. That means that you're gonna have curved display that are actually facing that part. And that's perfect if you're just stay in that place. But in the moment where you just open the dash from another position in the space, well, all the money start gonna shift because there's no perception of actually the space that you're in, but there's also the perception of the space where you're starting from. So uh, if you're starting from a chair like we are at now, we're gonna be always in the same position so you can place your stuff and always gonna be there and it's interesting, but it's not gonna be related to the space yet and really hope that you're gonna kind of work on it to actually understand what is the environment around and be able to actually use it as an augmented reality feature in the future. Now, there's a lot of options. You can use different monitors. I have two monitors and actually I have some problem with that because one is connected to the internal graphic card and there are some glitches and stuff. So it made very hard to actually record this video. So I hope they fix it on that. But overall is a very nice feature and I hope they keep working on that more and more. I also hope that the competition will work on it because it will be super interesting to actually see Windows Mixed Reality that actually use Windows and with the new updates, it's gonna also be able to open x86 apps directly in the system, in the cliff house. And imagine if the cliff house would be your actual house through the cameras, even if it's not the highest resolution. But well, if you have to focus on those monitors there, well, it's very interesting for sure. And it will be actually a life changing in productivity and stuff like that. But let me know what you think about it. Do you think that is a good productivity feature? Do you see yourself using it more and more in time? I actually see myself using it and I put it like a, a default thing because you can put it as default when you press the dash. And so you're directly there or can you just a double tap and be in there even when you're in a game. But uh, using with your desktop and stuff like that and with the dash feature that you have I think this is really interesting for productivity as well and being able to actually edit a video in there and being pretty comfortable uh, I think that this is a good thing for sure and in the future will be super interesting to also see end occlusion so your ends will be actually an object in the space and also be able to interact directly with your ends and not with the controllers having a sort of end tracking but let me know what you would like to have in the future update and as always guys if you liked the video like if you did like the video like subscribe to the channel for more about vr tech and i see you guys in the next video there is going to be probably the full review and uh yeah and then i3 very interesting stuff there. So see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.